This programme follows a French lesson which develops the pupils' ability to talk about themselves. It will be particularly useful for teachers new to MFL. It includes introducing and consolidating vocabulary and transferring structures. This lesson could be taught by teachers with any level of French. Alors bonjour la classe. Christine Capon, an advanced skills teacher, takes a year five class at Hampton Hill Junior School in their first year of French. Christine adopts one particular approach where the emphasis is on the audiovisual and kinesthetic activities before any written work happens. The class I've been teaching today are a year five class and they've only been studying French for just over a term. The aim of the first activity was to greet the children, revise vocabulary that we'd done previously and allow them to feel confident and get back into the swing of speaking in the foreign language to mean the lesson. So I use question and answers that they're familiar with so it allows them to warm up to the lesson. Right, today we're going to go on to a new topic we're going to be learning about pets, okay? We're going to be learning the next... Today was the first lesson in a series of lessons that are about pets. Chien. And it follows on from the previous topic that we've been doing, which was talking about their families. Because it was the first lesson in this series of lessons, they need to learn the vocabulary, the basic noun vocabulary. So there is lots of repetition of the words and lots of playing games to reinforce them. Un cochon d'Inde. Un cochon d'Inde. Un cochon d'Inde. Un cochon d'Inde. What do you say? A guinea pig. Excellent. Un chien. Un chien. Kangaroo. Un chien. A dog. A dog. Alors, toute la classe avec moi. I went on to use actions for the animals because this helps them to visualise and make links and reinforce what they've been hearing. They can hear the words and they can have an action so it covers all areas of learning while they're trying to grasp the new vocabulary. Un chat. Un chat. Un chat. Un chat. Un hamster. Un hamster. Un hamster. Ce n'est pas un croissant. Qu'est-ce que c'est un croissant? Un croissant, qu'est-ce que c'est? What is it, Nicole? It's kind of like a type of pastry. It's a type of pastry, right? We're not saying un croissant, we're saying un croissant. Um, obviously, at this age, there is a limit to the amount of new vocabulary that the children take in in any one session. Un croissant d'Inde. So I normally try to limit it to about six new words a week. Um, but for the purposes of today, I used eight words because we were introducing pets and most of the pets that the children would have were actually masculine and I needed to ensure that the children uh, continue to understand that some nouns were masculine and some were feminine. So I stretched it to eight so that we could include a feminine a pet, and that is the mouse. Une souris. Right, who was listening very carefully? One of those is different to all the others. It's une souris, excellent. Une souris, why is that one different? Why is that one different? Max? Um, because it says une at the beginning. It says une at the beginning, well done. And all the others say un. Why is that? Having ascertained that the children had fully comprehended which of the nouns were masculine and which of the nouns were feminine, I then wanted to give them opportunities to play games, more games with the nouns, so that they could further reinforce the vocabulary and become more confident in using it. The children like an opportunity to get up and move around the room and to touch things and manipulate things, so I played two games that allowed them to do this. First of all, we played Grab a Pet. Non, ce n'est pas un poisson, un poisson. 
This is really good because it allows the children to look at all the pictures and select the appropriate one without having to say something themselves. So it's another opportunity for them to listen to the vocabulary and check that they understand what the vocabulary means before they go on to use it themselves. Excellent. Kinesthetic learning obviously is a great advantage um, for helping younger children to, to learn. Um, they learn very much by doing and through opportunities to come out to the board, to, to handle flashcards, to circulate around the room perhaps to do a class survey. It gives them fun, it engages them in a very active way and of course it helps them to, to remember. The second game that I played with them was which one was missing. Ouvrez les yeux. And then they can offer the vocabulary themselves. Souris, très bien. Une souris. Une souris. Excellent. Et on... In a previous lesson, the children had learned how to use the structure C, meaning it is. And I revised this quickly with them so that they could use the pet noun vocabulary with this little phrase to say it is a cat, it is a dog, and so on. C'est un chat. C'est un chat. Right, you're going to play pair game. They then worked in pairs, having a simple finding the matching pair game where they would turn two cards over, say what the two animals were, and if they were a matching pair, then they could keep them to try and win the game. Yeah, you've got to find a pair. We do advise that when teachers do their planning that they try to recycle structures that children have learnt before. So for example, if, if in French the children have learnt how to say j'ai un frère, then they might be able to use that structure again when doing pets. So j'ai un lapin, for example, so that they're getting used to using the same structures but transferring them to different contexts. J'ai un chien. J'ai un chien. Qu'est-ce que c'est? J'ai un chien. I have a dog. Excellent. J'ai un chien. We then played a game of select a pet where I would present the cards to them randomly and they would choose a card and they would use the J structure and the noun for the pet. J'ai un chien. Excellent. The children enjoy doing this, they never know who I'm going to go and ask and for me it's a good way of going around and just checking with particular children if they have actually grasped the vocabulary and whether or not I need to reinforce it. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Nicole? Très bien. J'ai un lapin. The games that I use, I try to ensure that there's opportunities for visual, audio and kinesthetic learners. Excellent, Max. Oui, Tate, oui, c'est un oiseau. Un oiseau. Un oiseau. For the plenary part of my lesson, um, I wanted the children to be able to communicate with each other and use the vocabulary from the previous weeks with the structures and the new noun vocabulary so that they could communicate with each other and form groups and work out who they should be with. They were each given a picture and they had to walk around and find the other children with the same picture that they had using a simple statement and question format. As a follow-up to the lesson that we'd seen previously, I like the children to revisit the structures, revisit the vocabulary so they can reinforce and make sure they really know the language well. So for this lesson I wanted to play lots of games with them again, using their voices in different ways, um, manipulating pictures again while they were speaking. An hamster. An hamster. I like to revisit structures with the children and give them the opportunity to apply a structure that they used in a previous lesson to a new situation because this helps them develop greater independence and also a sense of fluency because they can use vocabulary in a variety of situations. Comment dit on en français? My. When it's masculine. Comment dit on en français? My. When something is masculine. Max. 
Not il say he, but my. Natasha, mon, mon très bien. In order to move on with this particular topic, where the children have um, learnt some pets and they've also in the past learnt about uh, members of the family and how to present them, a nice way forward would be to incorporate those, those two elements. Now then, we have a few props. Do you have those pictures? Fantastic. Right. <laughs> Ma mère. C'est ma sœur. C'est ma sœur. Obviously, children enjoy spontaneity, they enjoy dressing up. I've seen um, very successful lessons where teachers have been quite creative in their plenary activity. Perhaps opportunities to, to give a performance, whether that is demonstrating an assembly, possibly where parents are present, the types of activities that, that they've been doing. C'est mon oiseau. C'est mon oiseau. Now then, what we're going to do when we're in the hall is we're going to be in groups. The group activity that I wanted to do today, where they were using the language in a communicative way, really needed more space. So we went to the hall so that the children could sit in circles and pass the objects around, rather than being squashed into a classroom. Every time I bang the drum, you have got to move the thing that you are holding, pass it to the next person around the circle. Okay? When Miss Sills hits the triangle, Whatever thing you are then holding is the thing that you will be, which may mean we've got boys being mums and girls being brothers. We will have to wait and see. Every time there's a beat of the drum, you pass it round. Ready? When I'm doing the work with the family, I would often allow the children to be creative with their own families. For example, they might like to pretend that Jennifer Aniston is their sister or that Richard Gere is their father. Um, so they create their own pictures, their own little families using famous people. Most of the boys always ought to have a footballer in their family. Could you introduce your mum, please? Elsa Pell. Kylie. Kylie. Elsa Pell Kylie. Very bien. C'est superbe. They seem to really enjoy the lesson and are always keen to uh, participate. And I would hope that when we revisit this again in a couple of weeks' time, they'll still be confident in using the vocabulary. I like today's lesson because we were, in, we were going in the hall and we were dressing up as different people. I like some of the words as well. It's just kind of the way you pronounce them. It sounds weird. I was on.